In this video I will talk about electric power, capacitance and inductance and how they are related to each other. Charles Proteus Steinmetz explains this in his book and I'll explain it to you. In lesson number one we talked about the fields that can store electric energy, the dielectric field and the magnetic field. Today we are going to talk about power. Uh, power comes when these fields are combined, when they are in phase. So how is this power created and how is power related to inductance and capacitance? This book gives a very good explanation of how power is related to inductance and capacitance. The magnetic field or magnetic flux of the circuit is proportional to the current with a proportionality factor L which is called the inductance of the circuit. So inductance of a coil means how well it can store electric energy in its magnetic field. To produce the electric energy stored in the magnetic field of the coil, power is needed. And power is voltage times current. Power comes from the voltage and the current, so the voltage is transformed into the magnetic field. This voltage is called the inductance voltage. When the electric energy of the magnetic field decreases, power is returned into the circuit. A voltage is produced. The magnetic field is transformed back into a dielectric field. And this voltage now is negative because the field is decreasing. Now Steinmetz says something interesting, exactly analogous relations ex exist in the dielectric field. So now he's going to explain the dielectric field. The dielectric field or dielectric flux is proportional to the voltage with the proportionality factor C which is called the capacity of the circuit. So this coil, because it's by filer, between the windings there is a very large voltage difference and therefore it has a large capacity. It has a large ability to store dielectric energy in its fields. And the proportionality between the voltage that is supplied and how much electric energy is stored in the dielectric field is called the capacity of the circuit. So now the current is transformed into the dielectric field and the current provides the power to the field energy. This current is called capacity current. Again the same analogy with the magnetic field. When the dielectric field strength of the electric energy decreases and therefore the voltage decreases, power is again given the circuit. And since it's decreasing, the current that is produced is negative. And again Steinmetz says, as seen the capacity current is an exact analogy with regard to the dielectric field as the inductance voltage is with regard to the magnetic field. We can now apply this knowledge to a resonant bifilar coil. A resonant bifilar coil shows a sine wave and the sine wave on the oscilloscope is a re representative of the dielectric field strength. This means when the voltage is zero, the magnetic field must be at maximum because all the energy of the dielectric field is transformed into the magnetic field energy. There is no other way because energy uh, can't be produced and can only be transformed. So the voltage is zero doesn't mean there is no energy, it means the energy is transformed into the magnetic field. And vice versa, when the voltage is maximum, the magnetic field energy is zero. 
and following the rules of Steinmetz, the sine wave of the dielectric field is dropping from its maximum, power is returned into the circuit, a negative current is produced, and this process goes on and on. So we've got two sine waves. One is a representative of the dielectric field strength, and one is a representative of the magnetic field strength. And these two sine waves are 90 degrees out of phase, because the energy is constantly transformed from magnetic field to dielectric field energy, and from the dielectric field energy to the magnetic field energy. This shows that there is no real power in a resonant bifilar coil, but there is a lot of energy stored, and the energy is transforming back and forth from the dielectric field and the magnetic field. And this is called resonance. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please share if you care and subscribe if you want to learn more because I will do more of these lectures about the electric field and electric power as seen by Steinmetz.